Are you guys having a good time so far? All right. You know, I'm just kind of warming the stage up for Tim Cunningham. He's going to come and just blow the roof off of this thing. So I figure I might as well get it in while I can, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, I got to do a couple more songs, but I want to introduce the band. Um, but I want to do one more song for you before I do that, okay? Um, I want to uh, feature my guitar player here. And he plays a few different, diff different instruments with this device that he has. And so I just want to kind of share that with you and feature him on this. This is a um, song called Keep It Smooth. This was on my very, very first album. I had no idea what I was doing on my first album, but it became uh, an album that really was like a springboard for my career. I even had Najee on my first CD. So if you're familiar with him, I actually did a song by George Duke on this album. I'll just tell you a real quick story. Um, I was searching for some kind of way to get in the music business, and it was really tough for me coming from, and by the way, I'm an Indiana Hoosier. I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> Thank you. But anyway, um, it was very early in my career where I started. Um, I was trying to get somebody to take me seriously, and. Uh, so um, I went to a concert that Najee came, uh, was performing, and he had a guy named Freddie Jackson and Melissa Morgan. They came to Fort Wayne to the embassy, and um, <clears throat> somebody from his camp heard that I could sing. So I get this person coming up from behind me and tapping me on the shoulder in an audience just like this, dark like this, too. This guy comes and taps me on the shoulder. He says, can you come with me? I'm like, oh, man. I thought 10 years back, what did I do in the last 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> but he said, um, I'm Najee's road manager, and I'd like to hear you sing. I want, I want to hear you sing. Can you come up to my room? Now, now I'm really scared. <laughs> so I said, sure, I'll come up. So I sang for him. He said, man, I really like what you do. He said, um, can you send me a demo? I said, oh, of course. I said, I'm in the studio right now. I said, it's going to uh, take me about maybe a, another week or a week and a half, and I'll, I'll get you something. Well, I didn't have a thing going. <laughs> at all. <laughs> and what happened was, I'm a big jazz collector and a, and a jazz lover, and I just was rumbling through my jazz collection trying to figure out what I could do, and it came to me all of a sudden. And I found a, I found a CD by George Duke. It's called Snapshot. And so on that Snapshot album was a song called Until Sunrise. And I took it. It was just a total instrumental song, and I wrote lyrics to it and I took it to the studio and I sang on it and it just became a, a beautiful song. And I said, well, this is all I got. <laughs> and I sent it to Najee, he loved it and he flew me out to California. I, I stayed with Najee for two weeks at his home. We worked on some music. And from that, I was able to be on his album called The Morning Tenderness Album and did a, and did a world tour with him. So, um, you never know what can happen if you don't inspire for the dreams that you have. So if you have a dream, first of all, if, you, if you're thinking about getting into the music business, don't. <laughs> oh boy, what a rocky road. But anyway, I know you didn't come to hear all my stories, but I wanted to share that with you and just let you know how, how I'm connected to the industry. <laughs> 